Hi Taurus, welcome to your December 2017 reading. Okay, first card out, Temperance. By the way, I'm using a new deck. So this is called the Ghetto Tarot. And it is was created by a woman named Alice Meets, and she's a photographer from Northern Europe. And she went to Haiti and collaborated with a group of Haitian artists and created this photographic reinterpretation of the Rider Waite deck. Um, and it's beautifully done. It's, you know, it's awesome. It's, it's all Haitian actors in the photographs, which I absolutely love. Um, and it's a great deck. And so I'm going to start using it. It's been working for me personally and for other readings that I've done off camera for some friends and family. So I'm going to keep using it. So welcome to your new deck. So this is the temperance card. Um, look at how awesome that that image is. Look at that. That's just so cool. And it's set in Haiti. Um, and it's just, it's a great card. It's a great deck. Uh, so temperance card. So, um, some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. We are in Sag season. Um, uh, yay. And we are, we do have Venus and Mercury in Sagittarius. Sun in Sagittarius, obviously. Mars is still in Libra as I'm shooting this. And the moon is in, Mer the moon is in Cancer as I'm shooting this. So some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius, right? Some of you could also be dealing with a situation that um, is taking a lot of time to really come to fruition. But I do feel that it's like a Sag, a Sag thing. And I also feel this, this, this could also speak to Mercury going retrograde and that temperance is incredibly reflective. Temperance does not jump into anything before having all of the facts or all of the knowledge, right, that is needed to jump into the situation. She's ever so gently dipping her toe into this pool. Sorry, my fingernails are a bit dirty. Um, so she's, you know, this temperance card, she's not really, she's not too desperate, right? Like, she knows what she wants, but she's also not going after the first, like, opportunity that presents itself, right? Um, like, she's not desperate. So let's see what else is going on for Taurus for December 2017. What else is happening? The Tower. Ten of... Okay. So some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, and things with that person are not, like, they're... You have the Tower here. So you might be dealing with some huge changes with that person, or, like you know, what you thought was going to be with that person, because next to it, we have the Ten of Cups, which to me always speaks of like, you know, not only emotional fulfillment in and of itself, but like our ideas about emotional fulfillment and like what it is that we believe, like what would fulfill us emotionally, right? Like what, what, it, what is it that we, you know, really want in our lives, right? You know, it could be for you, it could be being single, or it could be having kids, or getting married or not getting married yet still having kids. Like we all, we each have our own idea of what it is that would emotionally fulfill us. But there's a situation with the Sagittarius, I feel like with some of you, um, or somebody who presents to be really spiritual, right? Like I, like I also kind of just got this idea, like, of, you know, somebody who's like on that fake spiritual shit, like, look at me and how, how spiritual I am. And it's like, the fact that you have to say that speaks to like how fucking fake your shit is, right? So maybe you're dealing with somebody who is like really on that tip, right? Who's really on that, like, look at how much knowledge I have and look at, but it's like, it's not like, it's not real, right? And because they're saying all of that, it's like, you have this idea that you can have this with them. But then there's this realization that like, no, I actually can't, because they're not even and we'll pull clarifiers on the temperance card to get a better idea of who that person is. Um, but I do feel that some of you are dealing with the Sagittarius, and it's like not turning out to be what you had wanted it to be, or it's like the relationship needed to really shift in a drastic way in order for you to be able to move closer to the Ten of Cups with that person, right? Because sometimes it doesn't have to mean, and it can also mean that this person's rocking your world, right? That this person is actually really shaking up all of your ideas and all of like your hopes and dreams, right? And it's actually like, oh my God, this person's really rocking my world right now. And it could be a good thing or a bad thing. So let's continue to pull cards and see what else is coming up for Taurus for December, 2017. 
messages for tours for December 2017. Just hit me in the face. Yeah. Something new wants to come in, though. Yeah, something new wants to come in. Or it could be that this person gets it together. I want. I really want to pull a clarifier and see who this who this person is. All right. Before we do that, though, let's take a look at all the cards. Sorry if you can hear my computer fan. My computer is like on the fritz, kind of. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. On the bottom of the deck is the chariot. Maybe also a cancer. Maybe a cancer is trying to come in. Maybe you're trying to make a decision of what way you need to go. Or maybe you're just really recognizing the treasure within you. And you're standing tall for that, right? So yeah, there's a situation with a Sagittarius. Or maybe even with this earth sign here. Maybe a fire sign. Or, you know, Sagittarius. But... I definitely feel that this that, 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 that this situation with the tower here is sort of crumbling or is it's being realized that the foundations were not clear. The foundations set in place are not secure. There's faulty foundations going on with you and this person. Right? And a lot of that and a lot of it is like kind of shattering what you thought you were gonna be able to kind of create and have with this person. That there was a ten of cup, there were ten of cups promises, right, with this person. That there were ten of cups, hopes and dreams with this person, and that now you're in a place of really kind of reevaluating and reflecting, like what, like number one, I invested so much time and energy into this situation. How did it end up like this, right? I invested so much energy and time, and I was patient, and I was. You know, I thought that I did everything right, and now you're kind of going back over the groundwork of, like, what's, like, what, like, what is it, like, why did I do all of that, right? Like, the Seven of Pentacles is a card about really reflecting and looking at, like, what have I done? What is the work that I'm doing? Will it reap the harvest that I'm trying to sow? Um, you know, but I feel like because you did the work, regardless of whether or not this situation fell apart, like you did, you showed up, right? You showed up in a way that was loving. You showed up in a way that was open to, to, to having your, your dreams and your wishes fulfilled, right? Like you showed up in a way that was very much like, it's not like you showed up in the situation and you had hangups and you were like being emotionally unavailable and you, like you were available, like you made yourself available. Like you put in a lot of work and effort to, you know, see this person or to make things work with this person. And now you're so so regardless of that, I feel like there are things will come to you love like this is the ace of cups. So I do feel that in the midst of all of this, right, because we're living in an age now, we're living in a time where the physical world and the spiritual metaphysical world are moving closer and closer together, or there's more of a connection that's happening. So it's not like you do something good or bad in this lifetime, and you're going to see the karmic return for it in the next lifetime. Like your karmic payoff is immediate now. Like your karmic payoff for whether you're fucking around or whether you're trying to do good and be your highest self or whatever, it, like the karmic payoff is immediate. And I've seen it. I've seen it happen with myself. I've seen it happen with friends of mine, with ex-lovers of mine. Like, the karmic payoff is going to be immediate. It's immediate. So if you are in the situation... So if you're in the situation and the Sagittarius showed up and was, like, really down for you and then you kind of crumble the situation or vice versa, it's like the karmic payoff is going to be immediate. And so I see that because of a lot of... And I feel like this is actually you who put in a lot of the work, right? And this is another person. 
So because you were actually willing to put in the work and the dedicated effort to trying to build a foundation with this person, it takes two, right? So you could have been on the other side of the foundation, right? Putting together your cement blocks and putting together your wooden posts. And, and this person may not have really been doing much of anything, right? And then now you're surprised when it comes crumbling down. But I feel like because you showed up and because you were the one who was like, you put all these pentacles into it, I feel like there's going to be an immediate return. And there's going to be somebody new that comes in. The sign of pentacles comes in and the sign of pentacles, not only like I like seeing pentacles when it comes to partnership readings or love readings or whatever future love readings, because to me, it indicates an offer that is substantial, an offer that like not only has the ability to fulfill us emotionally, but can fulfill our physical needs and our actual security as well. Right. Because there's emotional security, too. And earth signs can provide the kind of security, right? Like that's why earth and water go together because water needs a secure vessel through which to express its emotions and through which to be in its feelings. And earth can provide that, right? Earth can provide a sort of security, right? And I feel like if another earth sign is coming in, right? Like that, that, that could actually be really good for you as well. To where it can match up with like, I'm someone who puts a lot of time and effort into like, what is it, what I'm trying to do? Or who puts a lot of time and effort into nurturing my relationships. And you might be able to get somebody who can do that with you in return. Let's clarify this temperance card. Who is this temperance card? Or what's this temperance card here for Taurus? Can you clarify temperance for me for Taurus? Can you clarify the temperance card for me? Can you clarify the temperance card for me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Five of Cups. So it's a situation that didn't work out. And it felt really like it was going to work out because, again, I feel like this temperance card, this, this kind of lower level Sag energy, right? is like, look at me, like they're wearing, I feel like they're kind of wearing a mask, right? Like, I feel like they're showing up as a temperance card. They're showing up as sort of like a higher version or like the highest version of their Sagittarius self, but it's not really what you think it is. The tower dissolves our illusions. The tower is dissolving the sort of idea, this picture perfect idea that you had about this person and now you're forced to look at the reality of who they really are pentacles reality cups emotions things of, of the other world are the illusions that we can create for ourselves about a situation neptune energy pentacles saturn earth energy things that are really happening in front of our faces that we need to really look at but like i said before i feel like because you showed up in this situation and you were willing to put in the work and the time and the trust, right? It's just like you were also willing to trust that this situation was going to work out, that the universe is like, okay, like we're going to pull this person away because they're not of your highest good, but we have another situation coming in and it's going to be really beautiful and it's going to be really exciting sorry let me i just realized that there's a new deck right so we have the ace of cups four of wands or they're called brooms in this deck four of brooms and the page of brooms right so this is somebody who will be very clear in their communication i feel like this person was also very unclear with you this person was kind of wishy-washy and hid behind Bullshit, spiritual, pseudo-spiritual, I'm holier than thou kind of lingo, kind of language, which I can't stand, right? Because, like, I can sit here and admit that I don't know anything. Like, I don't know, I don't know anything. <laughs> like, but some people need to cling to this idea of, like, I am some kind of, like, I'm some kind of spiritual mastermind. Look at me. Look how, how amazing I am. So I feel like this is kind of a mask that's being dissolved right now with this person. They're being exposed. And it's disappointing. I get it. It's disappointing. But we have two cups still here. So the universe isn't done with you yet. The universe 
has plans for you in the romantic sector, in your partnership sector. The universe has plans for you. And I think because Taurus is your first house, so that means Sagittarius is your 10th house, right? So I feel like you might, and Venus is in Sagittarius right now, you might meet this person at work, right? This is somebody, like this new person could be somebody that you meet at work who maybe you've kind of peeped in the past or have been like, oh, like, who is this person here? And like, they're actually like, okay, great. They got rid of this bullshit, fake ass hippie. And now like we can move in and actually give a substantial offer. They're going to like, there's a lot of great, there's a lot of communication with this person. There's a lot of exciting, passionate communication that comes in with this person. And because they're showing up as Knight of Pentacles, I feel like whatever they say they're going to do or whatever they can promise you is actually going to happen. So it's not just talk, right? It's not just talk. Let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles. Can you clarify the Knight of Pentacles for me? For Sagittarius for December 2017. Can you clarify the Knight of Pentacles for me? I feel like they've been waiting patiently for you. <laughs> they have the four of machetes, the four of swords here. I feel like they've been, they're taking their time, right? So it may not, like, when I said initially that it's going to be immediate, yeah, it'll be immediate, but it's also going to, like, they're kind of, I feel like this person's going to kind of take their time. They're not desperate, right? Like I said before, there's not like this desperate kind of energy, right? Like they, they like you a lot and they've been feeling and they've been feeling very strongly towards you for a while, but they're also, they've been patient. And this actually might be somebody, like this is a card of meditation, right? And maybe you're kind of seeking out a partner that can actually expand your mind and can expand your per, your perspective and can expand your ideas about spiritual practice, meditation, um, yoga, right? We are Sagittarius, so all of those things are kind of having a light shine on, sh uh, shining on them right now, right? Like higher learning, spiritual learning, spiritual understanding, and you opposing Scorpio, right? Where Scorpio has an innate understanding of those things, an innate understanding of astrology, the occult, um, you know, psychic ability, right? You opposing that, that your concern has been more so on the physical world and creating material gain and um, my connection to this physical world, which was very important. But now I feel that like some of you might be more open to like trying to learn and understand spiritual practice. And that's the kind of partner that you're seeking out, right? And this person is also somebody who like is very much in tune with like their inner world and their inner spiritual practice. Um, whatever that means, right? Those are very, 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 very vague terms. But nonetheless, I do feel that this, like this person has definitely been a disappointment for you. The Sagittarius energy here, this temperance energy here, someone who has presented themselves as being extremely spiritually fit and really doesn't know shit and is using it as kind of like a cover up Right. Or as a way to like, you know, gain an upper hand. I don't really like that. I've dealt with that energy before and it's really nasty because what you see underneath is just like pure bullshit. And things are being sort of crumbled and toppled. Right. I want to clarify this page of brooms because I also want to make sure like, is this another person? Like, do you have multiple options going on? Is there a fire time that's kind of also trying to come in and. And you're kind of thinking about like, oh, I have, I have like multiple options. Like, what do I do? So let's, let's figure out what this page of brooms is. Or is this this very similar energy to this person? Is it the same energy as this person? Or is it just kind of an energy in general between you and this person? So can you clarify this page of brooms for me? Can you clarify this page of brooms for me? Can you clarify the page of brooms? The magician. 
So if this is another person, I'd be mindful, right, about how much you trust this person. I feel like where the money's at is with this Knight of Pentacles, right? There's a humility. There's a humility that I'm witnessing or that I'm feeling with this Knight of Pentacles, right? And there are two things that are coming up with this Page of Brooms, Page of Wands, and this Magician. Don't go to sleep, computer. Don't go to sleep. Um, is that number one, right, this Page of Brooms could be somebody who could be maybe a bit controlling or is using or is exercising power over you in some way. Maybe it's this person trying to return this Page of Brooms, right, because I'm feeling fire, right, Sagittarius, fire. Maybe it's this person who's trying to return. And is trying to once again kind of present themselves as like being more than they actually are, right? That's like another thing is like people who claim to have all these psychic abilities and powers and yada yada. And they're just like looking for attention. I've also dealt with a lot of that. I live in the mountains in like a small hippie community. And like that's a dime a dozen. <laughs> that's a fucking dime a dozen, right? Another thing that this could be representing is like things manifesting quickly, right? Energy, communication, things that you really want manifesting quickly. This is also a manifester card. Things coming to fruition that you really want. You having the upper hand and, allow, and, and being able to kind of drive things as you want them to go with this person. And they're fine with it. Right? Don't abuse that, but like they're fine with it. So let's pull an outcome card for Taurus. Outcome for Taurus for December 2017. Outcome for Taurus for December 2017. Outcome for Taurus for December 2017. Last Yep. Knight of Swords. And the Page of Cups. So I feel like there's swift communication. I feel like there's definitely a new offer coming in. There's definitely new beginnings coming in. Here's the Fool. What an awesome interpretation. There's definitely communication or someone really moving in who wants to offer you, who has like a new offer for you. Right? And I feel like this Knight of Pentacles, this Knight of Swords, and this Page of Brooms could all be various, could all be energies of this same person, right? They're showing up as a knight again. But they have something to communicate to you. And they've actually really thought about what they're going to communicate. They, they, they've reflected. They've taken some time to reflect. So I feel like any offers that do come through you know, try, and if you want to communicate whatever, you know, your love or affection for this person, right, I would try to wait until after the retrograde, um, because these swords, these air energies right now are really being, are really being affected by the retrograde, um, and so you want to be mindful of, like, communication, starting new things, so I feel like whatever is supposed to come with this person, this Knight of Pentacles, it's going to make give it like a three week, maybe even four weeks, right? Like you always kind of want to let the retrograde come out of its shadow and just sit properly and do it for Mercury to start moving forward again before we go forward with communicating our feelings, making new plans, making new commitments. So all in all, I see really great things. You know, it's going to be hard to let go of this person for a little bit, but you have to recognize like, and Taurus, you're a fixed sign. And so when we have our heart set on something, I'm a fixed sign too, and I have a lot of stuff in Taurus in my chart. So when things, so when I meet somebody or what I do, like I get really hooked up in making that situation work. And it's like part of the lesson, part of being here in these bodies, part of, you know, being on this, on this earth, right? Being in this physical plane is learning how to also let things go. Yes, accumulate your wealth. Yes, accumulate physical things, accumulate all that you want but also learn how to let them go. Like that's the beauty, right? Of like, oh, I dated that person. It didn't work out. I'm letting them go, right? Especially for those of you who have Venus and Taurus. Um, really become willing to just accept that I may want a relationship, but I don't have to settle for the first 
mofo that comes knocking on my door because who the fuck are they point blank so that's your reading Taurus I hope that some of you found it helpful and if it didn't resonate with you there are lots of other readings on YouTube and I love you guys and I will see you in January all right